Welcome to day three on a nine day breathwork challenge for unconditional bliss. By the end of the session, our promise to you is that you will tap into that higher frequency of gratitude that will transform how you see yourself and the world. Have you ever wondered why does life feel like struggle? Day to day struggle rather than a state of unconditional bliss. Why does life not naturally feel blissful? And why is it that whatever you achieve in this lifetime, goals after goals, you're truly never satisfied? And this is because we have been told a big lie and we have believed that lie. And the lie is that you are not enough. enough. And you're not enough has taken deep root in your DNA, in your genetic memory. And whatever you do from here, all the actions you take has the memory of you are not enough, has a signature. So how do we extract this memory from your DNA and let it go? Well, for that, first, we have to understand this memory at a deeper level. So let's start with a story. The story is about a stone breaker. The stone breaker was starting his day blissfully, fully satisfied, just breaking stones. And as he's breaking the stones, he hears the horses approaching. And then he becomes curious. And then he looks and there's a king approaching. And when he sees the king, he also sees the beautiful queen sitting right next to the king. And a lot of people, important people surrounding the king at his beck and call. And his brain started playing tricks. He started comparing his life to the king's life. And the feeling came, I am not good enough. My life is not good enough. And a desire arose from that. What if I were the almighty king? And my friends, that day, God was particularly in a very good mood. So God thought to himself, what if I just grant him this wish? Let me just run an experiment. Let's see how blissful, how satisfied this stone breaker becomes when he becomes the king. So he saw all this and he said, wish granted. And the stone breaker became the king. And when he assumed his responsibilities, first he was excited, happy, blissful, satisfied. And then slowly, as he settled into the king's role, as he took on all the responsibilities, he realized that he doesn't have any time for himself. All his time is for public good. And then he realized that when he saw the king as a stone breaker from a distance, the king's life felt like a fantasy. Very good. But when he assumed those responsibility and when he put himself in those shoes, it became struggle. He could not handle all these responsibilities. His joy went down. He was not satisfied anymore. Just the small fact that this king has to sit in a chariot with heavy clothes, with heavy jewelry, and then go around the town every day to check up on people. And while he's going, there is sun pounding on him, making him hot and frustrated. And he still has to continue doing his things. And just this fact alone makes him frustrated. And he says, wow, look at the sun beaming down on the king. That sun must be way more powerful than the king himself. And so, he feels dissatisfied. I am not enough feeling came again and he wished, what if I were the sun? And then God made him the sun. Wish granted. Now he becomes the almighty sun. As he becomes the almighty sun, now he thinks everybody should know how powerful I am. So he particularly throws the heat on one village. He wants to prove that how powerful I am. He wants to burn the crops. So he beams on one village and suddenly a layer of cloud comes in and blocks the sun. 
Now the feeling of dissatisfaction arose again. I am not good enough. The cloud is way more powerful than me. And then he wishes again, I wish I were the clouds. And the God is in a very funny mood. He says, wish granted again. He becomes the clouds. And now he gets to flow with the wind and he's very happy that he can block the almighty sun. And suddenly, he thinks about everybody in my village is so hot. They're always complaining about the sun. What if I put the cover of clouds on top of my village? And he does just that. He blocks the sun and hovers on his village. And then the wind comes and sweeps the clouds away. And then the feeling of dissatisfaction comes. I am not powerful enough. Even the wind is more powerful than me. And guess what? God grants him this wish too. He becomes the wind. Now he's causing hurricanes. He's showing his power. He says, now everybody would know how powerful I am. So as a wind, he goes through the village and destroys the whole village and he feels powerful. And as the wind, he's sweeping across the village. He comes across a rock. The rock is solid, is not moving. And he tries hard with his wind power, but the rock doesn't seem to move. The feeling of dissatisfaction comes again. I am not enough. I cannot even move this rock. Who do I have to be to break this rock? Well, the memory kicked in and he says, I wish I were a stone breaker. And the God chuckled and granted him the wish back. Be the stone breaker. And now he suddenly finds himself becoming the stone breaker where all this journey started. And now he feels a little satisfied because now he has seen the limitations of everything. So my friends, this is our story. We want to be something we are not. And after realizing, after achieving what we want to achieve, that's when we realize that's not the answer. And I want to quote famous actor Jim Carrey. He once said, I wish everyone could become rich, famous, and everything they ever dreamt of. So they can see that this is not the answer. My friends, this is Famous Words. I want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath, and think, how many lifetimes do we have to keep chasing one desire after another after another just so we can feel enough? Just so eventually we have enough and we can feel blissful. Everybody's chasing something. Think about in your life, what are you chasing? And when is this chase going to be over? And when this knowledge really sinks in, you realize that gratitude is giving thanks to what you already have, who you already are, where you already are in this moment. Gratitude is fully surrendering to this moment. That's the approach we're gonna work on. So the first step of that approach is being blissful. How can I be totally undisputedly blissful in this moment. We'll start with a very powerful statement that you are exactly where you need to be in this moment. My friends, there is billion years of evolution on your soul. So every experience, every challenge, every joy has shaped you into who you are today. You're exactly where you need to be. So my friends, in this video, we're going to prepare our body for this gratitude meditation. And that's going to be alternate nostril breathing. After alternate nostril breathing, we're going to simply settle into meditation and hear this guided meditation instructions. So if you're ready, let's start with finding a comfortable cross-legged position, keeping your spine straight. Bring your palm into Vishnu Mudra. Right thumb covers your right nostril, and we inhale from the left. Four. Holding for four. Exhale, right six.
Inhale, right six. Hold for six. Exhale, left seven. Inhale, left seven. Hold seven. Exhale, right eight. Inhale, right eight. Hold eight. Exhale, left nine. Inhale, left nine. Holding for nine. Exhale, right ten. Inhale, right ten. Hold for ten. Exhale, left eleven. Inhale, left eleven. Hold eleven. And exhale slowly right. Come into meditation. And let's start our gratitude meditation here. Now bring your awareness on your body. Feel the gentle rise and fall of your breath. The support of ground beneath you. Perhaps you feel the warmth of sunlight on your skin or the cool air caressing your face. Acknowledge each sensation with a silent thank you. Imagine gratitude taking the form of a golden light emanating from within you. Illuminating everything you touch. Think of all the people in your life. The ones who bring laughter and support. And at times, the ones that challenge you and also inspire you.
see their faces emanating this golden light of gratitude. Feel the depth of your connection and silently express thank you for being in my life. Now consider the incredible planet we call home. the intricate dance of life unfolding across its landscapes. The cosmic dance of creation unfolding for billions of years. Feel a profound sense of awe and gratitude for being part of this extraordinary moment in time. As you slowly start to open your eyes, notice how the world appears transformed See how the ordinary becomes extraordinary. Allow this feeling of gratitude to carry you throughout your day. So now slowly start to open your eyes and stay for the whole day in this gratitude frequency. And whatever your life circumstances are, see if you can disconnect from the circumstances, create a little more room between you and your circumstances, and just watch things unfold with gratitude. To deepen your practice, sign up for our holistic membership on our website. As a member, you gain exclusive access to the 9-day breathwork challenge for unconditional bliss along with the entire library of courses on breathwork, meditation, and self-improvement. Click on the link below to sign up. Also, please don't forget to download your breathwork journal. This journal offers profound insights into your emotional growth. Start your morning when you are on the bed you start with gratitude and we have created a mp3 file for you which you can save as your alarm so as you wake up in the morning it wakes you up with gratitude and 9 p.m. 10 p.m. whenever you go back to sleep 30 minutes before you go back to sleep when you're laying on the bed practice this affirmation again gratitude meditation so my friends practice this for some time until you start feeling it in your body and then go on to the next video. We'll see you in the next video.